Hello and welcome to another fantastic review by Jeff Trains. Yeah. Um, this is the uh, Kato Auto Rack car set. It's not the Amtrak uh, car train. I think that's what it is. Auto train, car train, whatever it is. These are CP ones, so uh, Canadian Pacific ones, uh, as you can see here on the side. Um, let me just focus the camera. Yeah. Ooh, focusing. Um, so yeah, you can see there, Canadian Pacific 4 car set, so there are 4 cars, 2 here, 2 here, I assume, there, somewhere, I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and open these up. Uh, before I do though, um, I do want to show you the back. It, um, has some nice stuff that I will get onto once we, uh, move on to putting it on the track. So let's open this up. these with a bit of plastic covering them there and then in the styrofoam we have these all right so you get four um, cars each one has a different road number and then there's a little plastic bag in there with the um, uh, couple the hoses that are uh, magnetic so you can magnetically decouple these uh, I'll just start with I'll just take one and we'll look at in depth, just uh, one, since they're all the same except for the road number. Alright, so I'm going to do this a bit zoomed in. Um, you can see at the end there are the doors that would open. You can see all kinds of uh, writing on the uh, end. That I can't read because it's too small. I'm trying to focus the camera on it, so hopefully, um, in editing, and if you're watching this in 1080 or in 720p, you will be able to read what it says. But I can't. Um, and then on this, moving on to the sides, we got some red and white, uh, probably would be reflective stuff, and uh, something else there that I can't read. Um, you have the CP uh, name, and then the the uh, road number and then some sort of logo that I can't quite tell looks almost like a tornado then we've got uh, something else that's way too small for me to see I'm going to try and focus the camera on it um, hold on let me look and see if I can see what it says no no idea what that says um, there um, we've got more of that red and white going down I assume on the real one it'd probably be reflective because who doesn't like reflective things more writing all the way down that you can only read if you have a microscope. Um, trying to focus on this really good so you can hopefully see it um, in the video. Uh, you've got steps here. This looks like a warning there. And one of the things that's not on the Amtrak ones, oops, on the camera, that is on these, the CP and CN ones, are the uh, sort of dots that are supposed to look like the mesh that's on the real ones. I'm going to zoom in really, really far. Nope, that's not working. Uh, try it again in the thing. Nope, okay. Thanks, camera. There we go. Um, and then the camera is about to run out of space again. So I'll try and make this quick. It's pretty much the same on this side. You do have couplings that are mounted onto the bottom of the uh, trucks. So they do move with the trucks. It, because they are long. This is a really, really long car, as you can see there. Um, really, really long. Um, so that's pretty much it for detail. It's the same on both sides. Um, there is a couple of things on the bottom. Um, so I'll go ahead and put it on the track. The back of the um, auto rack box shows the sample contest here with uh, two locomotives although I only have one you can hear them moving and then some maxi one cars try and focus there maxi ones and then the um, auto rack set so I have sort of recreated that I don't have maxi fours or any of those locomotives in those paint scenes 
but I do have this. There they are. They're quite big. I have the BNSF um, ES44AC leading with the BNSF Maxi 4s and or maybe the Maxi 1s, I can't quite tell. Maxi 1s and then you have the auto racks in the rear. Um, they're really really big. Longer than the locomotive and they're pretty tall. Taller than the double stacks so these are massive cars and they look kind of weird because they're all silver. Um, I think it would be better if you mixed up and didn't just have all of these, had a whole bunch of different livery ones all together and then they look a lot better because um, I saw the CSX Auto Train that runs through um, Indiana and it's just a hodgepodge of different liveries. As you can see here, there's pretty nice spacing in between the uh, cars, uh, not too big and not too small.